A longtime dream for an actor from Rockville Center. Now he's topping it with a Tony Award nomination. CBS 2's Dana Tyler has his story as we count down to the Tony Awards, which are just three weeks from tonight. The first time that I'm in love, I'm in love with you. It's the first time on Broadway for an American in Paris. The story of a U.S. World War II veteran making a new life in Paris. This musical is tied for the most Tony nominations with 12. That includes first-time nominations for lead actress and lead actor and two featured actors, including New Yorker Max von Essen. I'm in a haze. I mean, I've barely been sleeping. I'm just on cloud nine. I've been waiting for something like this for so long. You know, my Broadway debut was 15 years ago, and I just thought, I started to think, oh, well, you know, I work all the time. I'll just keep working, and my career is great. But I didn't necessarily know if things like accolades like this would come with the Tony Awards. And I got a nomination. It was just surreal. Von Essen's first Broadway role was in what turned out to be a flop, Dance of the Vampires in 2002. Never deterred, there's never been a better fit. I got starlight. I got sweet dream stuff. Till an American in Paris. He plays Henri, the soldier's friend, in the lighthearted love triangle filled with George and Ira Gershwin songs and lots of dance. The musical is drawn from the 1951 Oscar winning film, one of those big MGM movies. Movie musicals. It's the culmination of a chi of childhood dreams. You know, these are the kind of movies I would watch as a kid and watch Gene Kelly, Judy Garland, Leslie Caron. And I would see these big show-stopping numbers, and I would imagine what it would be like to perform in something like that. And now I've come full circle, and I was always obsessed with Gershwin music. Even though Von Essen says he remembers for a minute that he wanted to follow in his father's footsteps. Your dad, the former commissioner of the FDNY, so firefighting was not for you. <laughs> I think maybe like one year when I was eight years old, I thought, I'm going to be a firefighter, but that quickly passed. Once I discovered music and singing and acting, that was the end of that. He says on opening night, with all the excitement and critical acclaim, his parents were over the moon with happiness and his dad speechless. I could just tell it was that he was beaming with pride. The same thing I feel for him, so it was an amazing moment. It's emotional, isn't it? It, it is, because we've, you know, we're New York. I'm so unbelievably proud of him and the role he's played in New York and America, you know, during 9-11. And, and just as a father, I mean, he didn't even have to be a part of that for me to be so proud of him. So I think we all just want to make our parents proud in return, and I feel like I'm doing that. So, yeah, it is. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> Time Tony nominee Max Von Essen living his Broadway dream. Dana Tyler, CBS 2 News. And you can see the Tony Awards on CBS 2 Sunday, June 7th, live from Radio City Music Hall, hosted by Tony winners Kirsten Chenoweth and Alan Cumming. On Saturday night, June 6th, Dana also has a behind the scenes preview on CBS 2 at the Tony's. You don't want to miss that. It's so nice to see.